Hey good people, it is Tashire from Politics and Fashion. I'm here today with part two of my fall capsule wardrobe series. Now in the first video, I gave you my three step process for planning your capsule and it ended with my fall wish list. And so in today's video, we are going to talk about my fall haul. I don't do very many hauls over here on this little corner of the internet, so trust me, this is a video that you are going to want to see. It is part of a four part series, so go back, watch the first video, and stay tuned for the other two. Let's get started. Now some of these pieces y'all I actually have been kind of acquiring probably since late August, early September. Uh, at least one or two of them you saw during fashion week but they all were gathered with the fall season for my capsule wardrobe in mind. Okay so the first one is what I am wearing today. You all first saw this at New York Fashion Week. Here's the funny part y'all. I knew I wanted an oversized silhouette of a moto jacket. The Frankie shop had something like this, I think, last year. I didn't want to pay that, pay that price point. Um, but I was down at Nordstrom, girl, eating in the cafe with one of my god babies. We were getting ready to go to the movies. I did not have a jacket. I think I was actually wearing this dress, as a matter of fact. We were walking through the contemporary section. I saw this. I said, Mars, what you think? Marley was like, go for it, okay? We decided to size up in a size large. And since then, the tribe has gone up, up for this jacket. It was actually my most purchased item in the month of September. Thank you for using my link, by the way. It is what allows for me to continue to create content across platforms. I think we love it because, well, I know I love it, uh, because it didn't break the bank, okay? It was under $100 and $98 or so. I love the fact that the hardware is black, and so that means that you can truly wear it with any type of jewelry. I love the kind of boxiness of it, and it's slightly cropped. And it's from Nordstrom, and they often have sales. I think the label is called Blank NYC. Um, of course, everything that I mentioned in this video will be linked down below. And by the way, if you were interested and inspired by any of these pieces, save this video because Black Friday is going to be a great time also to get some of these items on sale. Since I got this, y'all, it's giving my Bottega Moto a run for its money. I ain't even going to hold you. Okay, I love the Bottega. I love the gold hardware. I think it looks luxe. It will never go anywhere in my wardrobe. I've already shared that with you all that it is one of my forever pieces. But for a grab and go moment, this is it. It's a Saturday that I'm filming this. I have this dress on, as you can see, with my Aritzia bodycon dress in a like a nude-ish color. I'm wearing it with my Zara Flame boots. I'm out the door. I'm going to wrap this thing right here on up and I'm going to head down to the institution for brunch and some cocktails and it's a look. It is a look. So that is the first piece in my fall haul. Now let's stick with outerwear because I told you all in my last video and I actually included a cutaway of me wearing this blazer from M.M. LaFleur, you all. I think they do the best suiting, especially for a feminine silhouette of any brand that I have ever tried. And that includes Saint Laurent because I have two or three Saint Laurent blazers. M.M. LaFleur is where it's at for me. All of their pieces are lined, they're great quality. They have a little stretch in them which makes them very comfortable. I I love this blazer. It's called the O'Hara blazer, y'all, because it is double breasted. And doesn't this kind of just plaid give you fall? For me, it gives sexy librarian. I ain't even gonna hold you. It does have matching pants, but I also love to see it just with like a white tank and a pair of denim, honestly. A cute western boot or another pair of the of the shoes that I'm gonna show you in this video. And I think you could definitely make something like this that feels like a wardrobe basic, very stylish and wear it in a myriad of ways. Now, out of everything I'm gonna show you today, M.M. LaFleur's price points are a little bit on the higher side. They are a bit pricier. This blazer, I think, comes in at $400 or $495. But I would be lying if I did not tell you all that I think it's worth it. I feel like for a blazer or suiting in general, depending on um, where you work or maybe even if you are retired, the reality is a blazer during the fall season, a blazer for work, a blazer for church or for whatever your faith institution is, for your synagogue, for your masjid, I feel like a blazer is going to be one of the workhorses in your wardrobe and so for me M.M. LaFleur is where it's at and I was gifted this and I'm so grateful. 
Y'all know I love a high-low moment. And so the second blazer is by H&M. I really felt like as I was looking at my capsule, as I told you all in the first video, that I was missing blazers. And so I'd actually got this one um, in September or August when I was in Pittsburgh at H&M. Um, I have simply rolled the sleeves up as I do with all of my jackets and my blazers. I think it just gives it a very kind of... Um, effortless vibe and that's my goal especially if I am participating in probably one of my most um loved style pillars which is contrast dressing to wear something that feels more business casual or that feels a little bit more elevated with an element of street style like denim and so with this blazer, because it is so oversized, what I'm probably going to do is wear this with um, a pair of jeans that have a little bit of a slimmer silhouette or put it on top of a dress that is slimmer fitting. I think that's really how you do an oversized blazer, y'all. You pair it with something that feels a little bit more slimming so that you are not completely swallowed by it. Um, and I wasn't really into the oversized trend when it first came out, y'all. This is actually probably my first true trend true oversized blazer not just one that kind of has a looser feel and so um I, I love it I don't have anything in this color in my wardrobe and as the weather begins to change I just feel like it's going to be so easy to throw on with a pair of jeans or on top of a dress even with the dress that I'm wearing today or with my black version of this dress and then be out the door now let's go to a little bit of a haul by a brand called Quince. Um, I was gifted a few pieces from them and I love the brand because they focus on sustainable and affordable knitwear, also cashmere. And don't we all love a little bit of cashmere, the softness on our skin this time of year, okay? So they sent me over a few pieces and the first one is this hoodie. And it is kind of cropped. It has the ribbing, as you can see. I got this in a size large because my goal was to do a half tuck in the front and then just kind of let it be free. Really easy. Something that you can throw on running errands or if you wanted to, you could dress it up. If you want to dress it up, I can even see it, honestly, y'all, underneath this jacket and then maybe with like a pair of high-waisted trousers and a cute heel um heeled boot for example I actually think that would be fantastic honey uh for a cute little like night out a cute little evening situation okay when you didn't want to do too much but you want to hit them with a little bit of style as well as comfort this comes in I know probably about four colors I almost got the brown I might go back and get the brown I might, I just saw my part in the viewfinder and girl, that thing laser sharp. Shout out to the lady clipper, all right? <laughs> and speaking of knitwear from Quince, I also got in a size large, this dress, y'all. It is a sweater dress with a high slit on the side. We're still showing thigh meat. It's still that season. It's still thigh meat season, okay? Um, and I actually styled this over on TikTok where you should be following me across social media at Politics and Fashion. And I showed you all how I would wear this actually with a pair of silver boots. I also would put it on with a pair of like mules or loafers for running errands during the weekend or if you just want it to be stylish but comfortable. Um, it's given body. I ain't gonna hold you. Um, this is a large and it's giving body. It is, it's giving legs and hips and body. So if that's not really what you're looking for, this may not be for you if you have a slim thick or a curvy silhouette like myself. However, if you do and you wanna hit their ass with a little bit of heat, I feel like this is amazing. And I got it in gray, y'all, because I do have a black sweater dress that I got last season from Lulu's. However, I, again, would be happy to have this in a myriad of colors. It is so comfortable. It is so soft on the skin. And I feel like with a blazer, for example, it would work perfectly for work. And it would also work with a moto jacket on the weekend. Y'all know I am in my baseball cap era. I am in it, I am in it, I am in it. Um, I just woke up one day and I was like, Shy, just because you bald-headed don't mean you can't wear a baseball cap. And myself said to myself, you right, my G. You right. And so, um, when I saw a good old Kendall Roy, remember Kendall Roy was wearing those um, Laurel Piana hats? in succession and I was like dang I really want that but when I saw the price I was like I don't really want that 
because it was like $500 for a baseball cap, okay? Kind people over at Laurel Piana, whatever you want to send me, I will wear. I will, because I'm not saying it ain't worth $500. I'm just saying that the way that my checking and my savings account are linked, I, I wasn't going to be able to make that investment. And so when I saw this one, which is very reminiscent to that, I had to have it. It is cashmere and the inside. I think the inside is wool. Girl. And you just, because you know all your heat leave through your body, through your extremities, okay? Your head, your hands, your feet. And I feel like... I'm not going to wear a scully during the cooler months because I am bald-headed, okay? I'll wear a fedora, but every situation doesn't call for a fedora. So why not put on a baseball cap? Now, they have this in black. I did not get it in black because I do have my Nina Bing hat. Um, so again, I'm trying to go for other shades of neutral, which is why I went for the gray. I even like the gray, I'm not going to hold you, with the dress. I feel like it does something really interesting and in that it kind of pairs it down. Color trash dressing once again, okay? This is so warm that I've put it on, just tried it on wearing it around the house and I've had to take it off, okay? <laughs> so it definitely is for those of us who are in a cooler climate now or heading towards one because that wool on the inside and this cashmere, honey, it is going to keep your head warm, trust me. And then on the back, just so you all know, it does have this Velcro strap so you can tighten it or you can loosen it. And I have it in a size medium large because although I'm bald headed, my head is sizable. So I knew the small medium wasn't going to work for me. I hope that hat didn't like give me a line across here, y'all. <laughs> the last thing I got from the kind people over at Quince is a handbag. Now, I knew I wanted something that was a bit larger. Um, I'm going to show you all another bag. Stay tuned. Um, but that is a micro bag. And, you know, as much as I love the TBE, we are in fall. And so, uh, for me, this season is synonymous with bags that are a little bit larger, okay? I didn't want a full-size tote, but when I saw this, I fell in love, y'all. As you can see, it is black. But the best part is it has this contrast inside of it. I have been carrying it, so my stuff is in there. Um, but it has this contrast inside of it, y'all. And it has this brown kind of pebbled leather. This, the entire bag is leather, of course. Shout out to a little bit of quiet luxury, okay? Y'all know I, I have had a whole rant about that from a socio-political view. But it doesn't mean that I don't love things that are a bit understated because I do. So the fact that it doesn't have any logos on it, but it is so well made and it's made from quality materials, in my opinion, makes it luxury. It does have a closure here as well as a zipper there. And it has a pocket as well that you can put, I don't know, some snacks, a pack of noun laters in there. I had a breakfast bar in there the other day. I was like, oh, I forgot I had this, girl, because your blood sugar, it's, it's not set up the same way when you get a big age. So you just put you a little, little kind bar in there, girl, and you're going to stay ready. You hear me? Now, I'm not going to do a full, like, what's in my bag. It's not at all organized, y'all. But just know that it holds a little bit of everything. I love the fact that it does have the top handles. It has the gold feet on the bottom, which is always a great flash for me. And then it also has this removable strap that I have worn crossbody, and it's also adjustable. I'm almost six feet tall for reference. Also, if I haven't said, a size six to a size eight, okay? So it is just something I think so easy to wear. When I think about wearing heavier knits, wearing coats, I do want something that's going to comfortably fit crossbody. I'm traveling soon. This definitely is going to be in the suitcase because I love the idea of wearing something understated when you're abroad. Um, it's very lightweight and extremely well made. She's your queen to be. Look at that. A vision, a perfection, an object of affection to quench your royal fire. Go look at this. Look at them little feet on the bottom. Come on, ox blood. I told y'all that burgundy was going to be my spirit animal. It's my pop of color. 
and my capsule wardrobe for fall, we had that conversation. And when I was in New York for Fashion Week, I walked into Pauline or Pollen. Should have asked them how you pronounce it. I don't know why I didn't do that. Y'all tell me down below. I think it's Pollen. I think someone told me it's Pollen. I walked in there, saw this and had to have it. Now it comes in three sizes. This is, I think, the number two or number one don't get me to lie i'll make sure it's linked down below and it comes in multiple sizes but immediately you already know what i was drawn to this is so cute girl a nice little cute pop and don't get it twisted because it does have a crossbody strap on the inside of it and it does have little pops that allow for you to expand it. Card holder, car keys, okay? Lip gloss. And I'm spending your daddy's money so I don't have to have any cash. Y'all are not gonna get me demonetized. I'm not playing with y'all today, all right? It holds a lot more than you would think, okay? It is definitely very deceiving. It comes in multiple colors, but again, because I am the queen of neutrals, I love the idea of having a little pop of color that feels fall appropriate. And when I saw this, I had to have it. The price point for a full leather piece wasn't too bad. I feel like Pollen does a great job of, again, giving you that affordable luxury. It just has that small pollen here that if you know you don't know you don't know so it is very understated again we're back to the feet on the bottom for me that is a testament to whether or not something is very well made i likely of course will wear it cross body because that's the easier part put my phone in my pocket or have it in my hand and that's to that so very happy to have these two new bags in my capsule for fall now for bottoms, let's go to the Free People skirt that I actually showed you all in the first video. I was able to get it over at Bloomingdale, specifically at Bloomies in the Mosaic District. Um, if you're not aware, Bloomies is this great kind of contemporary concept store that is owned by Bloomingdale's, but it has all of kind of their more fashion forward, younger, quote unquote, brands, okay? And when I saw this, I already knew that I loved it. It does have a slit in the back. Back. this is kind of high y'all it's a lot higher than I think I originally thought it was when I tried it on in store but it works all right and I think it's perfect for a pair of loafers it's great for a pair of knee boots who doesn't love faux leather this time of year it has been trending for some time now also you know maxi skirts are trending and so I just cannot wait to wear this in a myriad of ways and by the way everything that I'm mentioning in this haul is going to show up in video number four which is my fall capsule where I will wear at least 10 pieces in 10 outfits and the last bottom so I only have two I showed you all was these cropped denim by aqua and I grabbed these in a size 30 I definitely need to get the waist taken in while my hips have spread my waist has not as much and so I'm still probably about a 28 truly in my waist however the hips need a 30 the hips gonna have to have a 30 okay <laughs> And I just love the fit on these. I love the width and the unfinished hem on the bottom. If they have these in other colors, I will be uh, purchasing them. I'm just going to tell you that right now because I do think a crop silhouette works well um, for my height and it works well with a loafer. I told you all that for me, uh, one of my three words is comfort. So it is chic, preppy, and comfort for this season. That's kind of where I drew my inspiration from. And these are very, very, very comfortable, okay? They have, again, that stretch in them that we need. And I don't have anything that's like this really cool slate color. I think the color is actually called slate. Um, but it's like a gray denim or like a, a acid wash or stone wash denim, as you can see. Uh, by Aqua, don't know if I said that, but they came from Bloomingdale's. And both of these pieces were right around $100. Now, where I really made an investment as far as pieces that I welcomed into my wardrobe um, is shoes. It's shoes, it's shoes, it's shoes. I just got to protect my feet. I've got to protect my knees. I thought about this recently, right? What am I going to do if they call and they say, come down here and get your Birkin? 
I got to be prepared to do something strange for some change. I got to be prepared, y'all. And if you stay ready, you don't have to get ready. Okay? So if I got to hit a pole, it's at 41. We have to be, like, mentally, we have to... We got to prepare for these things, okay? And right now, it's Project Knee Preservation. Say it with me, Knee Preservation, okay? And so, in that, in that vein, I have a very, very, very intense focus right now on comfortable shoes. So, let's get started. Number one. Meet George Jetson. Girl, it's not giving up Jane, his wife. Dun, 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 dun. I love these so much, y'all. So, um, if you are subscribed to my channel, if you're not, you should be. Um, you saw me wear these in my community post. I was on Fox 5 very recently um, talking as one half of my podcast, Justice, um, all about like worker strikes and what that means for the new economy, gig workers, content creators, etc. I am an attorney by training. Okay. And so I decided that although I was talking about a serious topic, I have to be me. I have, this is politics and fashion after all. And so while I can give you a little bit of the politics and the social justice kind of flavor, I'm never going to leave the fashion Behind. And so I was actually wearing this jacket, um, a white button down, a pair of cropped Saint Laurent trousers, and these shoes. So they are mules. They are by Sam Edelman. They are, in my opinion, Bottega dupes, or they are inspired by these Bottega shoes, okay? Um, the one thing about them I will say is that if you are really fussed by this type of thing, I've only worn them twice. But if that's going to send you, these are not the shoes for you. Now, I don't require perfection in my footwear, so I don't mind it. But please keep that in mind, okay? I got them in a 10 and a half. I feel like I'm a true 10, 10 and a half. But I would have actually preferred an 11 in these. So go up a half size to a full size. But the heel is amazing. They are incredibly comfortable. It's almost a wedge, as you can see. It's not too incredibly high. And they also come in multiple colors. I know for sure they come in black. They're called the Vaughn Mules. And I just feel like Sam Edelman hit these out the park. As you're going to see, y'all, for me, I am just obsessed right now with that mid-tier price point. I actually have a video coming up very soon where I'm going to give you some alternatives um, to brands that we all already know and love so that you all are aware of where we can go to find things that are made with great quality but won't break the bank so not the lowest price point but also not the highest and definitely not like heritage house luxury either but for me with everything that I am going to wear this fall I am excited for these probably the most now another pair of shoes that I mentioned in my video that I do have are these, ooh, let me tell you something. A penny loafer and a moto jacket, that thing will put you in the game every time. Now, will it give grease? Maybe. But it don't matter. It, do, it, does, it doesn't matter because what you lead with is your style. You lead with your best self. And for me, high school principal, off-duty, performing arts high school, that's what I do. And I've shared that with you a bunch of times. And so for me, having these in this cream color, I thought they were like a pure white, but that cream color I'm obsessed with. It is patent leather. The leather kind of has a small crinkle on it. And then the buckle on the side, girl, is gold. And as I shared with you all, it is so hard to find a penny loafer that's a sling bag. These are by Dolce Vita. Dolce Vita is winning. They are winning right now. And these come in a multitude of colors. These are a size 11. I'm happy that I grabbed these in an 11. I did not need an 11, but the toe box is narrow. And I decided to wear them to the airport the first time I wore them. So I did a lot of walking and I cannot have imagined breaking them in, okay? So if you get your true size, just know that you're going to have to break them in here. And I actually have a 10 and an 11. Let me show you the second pair. Because I was so in love with what I was seeing at Dolce Vita, I reached out to them and I said, can you put me on your PR list? I have items that I definitely want to show the tribe. And the second pair are these. I know. I know. 
I already know what you're thinking in your mind. I didn't mean to be disrespectful to your television, to your phone, to your computer screen, to your iPad screen. But I said, if somebody gonna have to do it, it's gonna have to be me. Because when I tell you we stepping out this fall, look at, look at, wait, look. Now these are in a size 10. So they will have to be broken in. Because the thing I've noticed about these is that your toe stops probably about right here before you break them in. But there's so much cushion on the sole. They are so incredible, incredibly comfortable. I can't imagine a better shoe to wear to the office to stun on your coworkers. This is like the equivalent of a per my last email. You know, when you had to check somebody, you'd be like, per my last. This is a per my last email shoe. You step in there, honey. Let's say you work in finance. It's a conservative culture, okay? You got on that nice black tailored trouser suit from M.M. LaFleur. Now you throw these on right here, honey. Please. What can they say to you? Nothing. Nothing at all. Now let's get into the crinkle on the leather because I do think that if it was like a shiny penny loafer like this they would still eat but this this is what eats the girls down it's the fact that it's this crinkled leather that has a little bit of that raw brown that's kind of peeking through and the buckle on these is black instead of gold I cannot wait I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I don't even love cooler weather, but items like this get me really excited. And then the last pair of shoes I also showed you. I showed you them in silver, but they sent them over in black and white. Can you see the vision? I hope you can. Again, with this moto jacket, a pair of cropped like mom jeans. So not wide leg necessarily. But definitely not like a slim fit jean, not a skinny jean, but something that's just relaxed enough and shows just enough ankle so that the loafers do what needs to be done. The contrast on them is magnificent. The leather is extremely high quality. The toe box on these, again, can be a little narrow. So if you have feet, I wouldn't even say wide feet, but just kind of um, what's considered regular with feet. My recommendation is once again to go up at least a half a size in these, but I'm probably gonna wear them backless. Taking these on my vacation with me with a pair of like linen pants, flowy linen pants, girl. A cute little crop top. Throw a moto jacket over your shoulders. You throw a blazer over your shoulders. I just, I love this for us. I do. I love it for us. I love it for us. I love it for us. I love the fact that we can be stylish and we can be comfortable. Another pair of shoes that you all saw during New York Fashion Week are the Oliver Cabell sneakers. Y'all believe it or not, I don't have like a dressy contemporary style sneaker. I have my Jordans that I love to wear. I have my Nike blazers that I got recently, but this probably is one of the best sneaker purchases I have ever made because you can wear them in so many ways. I love how they look with suits. I wore them with the Celine shorts during New York Fashion Week. I'm definitely going to take these on my trip coming up. If you love Golden Goose, you're going to love these, I think, even more because the price point is so good. And you have just as many, if not more, alternatives. I have these in a size 42. These are men's, okay? Um, but they do also make them in women's. I love the gum sole. They also come in high tops. You're probably going to see those in my winter capsule, to be honest with you. But again, I wore these during New York Fashion Week, and they are so incredibly comfortable. And the very last item in my fall haul, I've actually been holding on to, y'all. Oh, my gosh. Probably since August, if not the beginning of September. And I had these and I literally just tried them on, so I'm happy they fit. Um, but they are one of the pair of boots I am the most excited about in my wardrobe. And they are these by Tory Burch. 
I grabbed them during that Tory Burch sale that I told you all about when things were on an amazing, amazing sale. If you've not seen that video, go back and watch it. The sale is not still going on. However, many of those pieces are still in stock. And I feel like for Tory Burch, they are doing an incredible, incredible job of making fashion forward pieces, y'all. I won't get into my fandom. You've already heard it. The most recent runway show as well has received a lot of acclaim as it should. Tori, you're showing out and we are here for it, okay? Because again, we're back at those affordable luxury price points that we all know and we all love. Now, let's get into these. Girl, because that toe box ain't to be played with, is it? It's not pointy. It's not round. It's not a Margiela right? It's more of an almond and it's just right. It is just right for this time of year. So that makes it to me feel very fashion forward. Okay. It has the seam down the middle. Now I get a little bit nervous about wearing ankle boots with things that are shorter. So for example, skirts or shorts, right? But I think what makes a difference is when you have something that is this kind of leather that is stretchy, and that is going to hug the ankle. And I think uh, if you do have kind of wider ankles, these should work because they do stretch. I think that they are comfortable. I think they are stylish. Cause look at that girl. Why is it round? Tori is showing out. I get all of my boots with a heel in a size 11. So that I do have room in the front. They are very comfortable. Maxi skirt, honey. Good old high-waisted denim. You can even see it with a pair of cropped trousers. These are it. I don't think they come in different colors, but can you see this in a burgundy? If it does come in, I'll let you know. I'll link it down below. They're 100% leather. Um, and I almost got a knee boot that is very similar to this, but I do have a pair of knee boots with the heel, so... I was trying to respect myself, all right? <laughs> Only grabbed these, obviously have not worn them yet. It has not been cool enough, but I'm so happy I have them in my collection because trust me, they will get a lot of wear this fall and winter. And that is it, good people. That is it for my fall haul. I'm looking around to make sure I haven't forgotten anything. Follow me over on socials because I am doing unboxings as things come in. I'm on TikTok, so if this is your first time seeing these pieces, you're probably a little bit light. Then of course, my private community sees everything first. So please make sure you have subscribed to my channel. You are following me all across social. And if you like my vibe, then join our politics and fashion tribe. I did not mean for that to rhyme, but my rap name is Tash Money. Stay tuned for the mixtape that's dropping. I told you I'm not playing with y'all. I'm not gonna do this. I'm getting out of here, okay? Uh, I love you. No one's told you that today. You are blessed and highly favored. And I will see you good people across the internet. Peace.